hello there this is another video in our design challenge and uh, you're welcome my name is niyamuda and thank you for following thank you for enjoying this tutorial with us all right so this is another design from sky graphics sky graphics i'm going to drop the handle so that you can follow and uh, appreciate the person for this beautiful design i want to show you how this can be created using your smartphone okay without further ado let's jump right into the video before we do that i want to bring you the original design right back into this guy here but i'm going to reduce it like this all right so let's begin by using a white background all right just a plain white background all right, so the next thing we want to do is to uh, get all the structures for the design set feed. Um, so what I want to do now is this. I want to just drag this to the end like this. Okay, just come here. I want to drag it to the end like this. Then I want to, I want to, I want to create a shape. All right, this shape right here. So I just drag it like this. Drag it like this. Mm -hmm. Cool, right? All right. So, so what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to cover the shape like this. All right. Then I'm going to increase this small, just small. All right, it's too big. All right, so that is enough. So that's the shape I just want to create. Let me know that it will fall into this shape. Okay. Now let's reduce this original design now. Guys, let's reduce it now. All right. So you see that shape now. So we're going to use it. So the first thing I want to do. Let me remove the original design so that you see what you see what I will do. The first thing I want to do now. Look at the shape. That's the shape there. So I want to change the shape color now to uh, red. Red is fine. Then I'm going to bring a shape now. This shape is going to fill through the old design. Like I will drag it through the old design, cover everywhere. And I will send it to the back. So that so we have two shape now. We have this one. So let me let me show this back. Let me change it back to black. Like what I'm doing. So let me change it to blue. So this we have a white design covering every other thing, and we have this one, the red one on top of the white. Okay. So look at it. So we have two two shapes now. Now what I want to do now is to so remove the red, but I have to blend or merge both shapes together, the white and the red. I've merged them together. I'm going to now remove the color that is this red now i'm going to remove erase color to take a peek look at this one there are shapes here you have plus if you click on plus it means you want to remove remove a color if you click on minus it means you want to take out a color so if you want to you want to add a color to remove plus minus so the less sign means that you want to remove a color then this thing that looks like a eyedropper eyedrop you click on it, it means you want to pick a color so they say please pick a color so i want to pick red are you getting it? i've picked the red so anything i put behind the red is going to show are you are you seeing that Anything I put behind that red color is now going to show. So, for starters, this is how we power click in Pixel Lab. This is how we do power click if you are familiar with design and uh, color draw and all that. So, this is what we have to do right now. So, I want to put this design now. I'll just drag it. So, what I will do now, I'll just lock it. Are you seeing it that? I've locked it. Now, the next thing I want to do now is to bring in the images. So, let's let's begin with this image right here. All right, the pastor's image. All right, so that's the pastor's image. This is not. It's not the best of quality, so I'm going to I'm going to delete it and bring the other one. All right, so I want to make sure that this this guy is, is sitting properly at the center of the design, so that no part of it is showing at the corner there. All right, so let me just do that again. I think that's done. All right, so let's come again. Let's click on this. All right, so we have two two designs, two pictures. So this is the first picture right here. All right, so this is the first picture. Mm, I'm going to just drag it like this. All right. All right, so we have one picture here. So the picture is going to be big like this. Watch your <laughs> going to reduce it like this small. Alright. Then I'm going to send it to the back. So I'm sending it to the back like this. Then we'll bring the other picture. Alright. So we we'll just drag it. Make sure anytime you're doing a design, alright. If you are doing a design, make sure that the, the if you're using a picture close to another picture, make sure that the, the face they are not like this one. If I want this picture to be aside, like they should be together. One person's head will not be bigger than the other. There's no need for that one, it doesn't make sense. Right, make their faces equal so that it looks as if they actually snapped the picture together. So make sure that their faces are equal. All right, so make this man face this side like this so that they are actually standing um, side by side. Still reduce. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to send it to the back now. Now I'm going to copy both images like this. I'm going to just do this, just move it small. Okay, okay, so, so that's that. All right, that's that. Uh, I, I still feel this part, this, uh, this this face is too small. So let's just increase the little. All right, then let's increase this one small, just small, no, not so much. All right, then we can bring this one here. All right, so if you look at the design very well, you will see that at the back of the design there is a gradient. Now the reason why I bring the original design is because I want to pick the gradient from the from the original design. So you click here, this place here, you click here, which is this place here. Um, yeah, mm, remove this guy. You see why I click now? This place. You click that place. Okay. When you click that place, seven minutes is gone already. <laughs> wow! You click there, click color, click on gradient. All right, so you select one of them, anyone that you have already there. They come here. Let me use this one. They come here and select this first color. 
is the color coming from the the, the the left so let's pick it so which is this one here all right then the second color this one is the color coming from the right so let's pick this color pink and look at what we're gonna have are you seeing it now so that's the results of we begin choosing the color the colors all right i still feel this this these guys are too they're too still too big let me bring it down all right so there is this um this logo this church logo it's not this one the one that has no background this one all right so this particular logo fire logo all right so we're going to put it there reduce it like this reduce it like this it's going to be white so let's make this one white i see that now they will send it to the back back of the design they'll copy then bring this one here this one sorry one's going to be here like this okay reduce it small let's put one here let's send it to the back all right let's let's lock these designs these are pictures one two i want to still stretch this one a little right okay so so that's that so the next thing we want to do is to get the church logo and the name so i use i just copied it from here because i, I didn't really got the logo exactly so i'm just going to use this one everything you are watching everything you're going to you're going to get them in the description of the video some of you don't read the description you don't read the description you just come and then you don't know what to do when you are watching a video any video you are watching the first thing you want to do is to check the description of that video because if the person that is teaching you on youtube wants to um give you an information most of the time they will give you that information on the description in the description of the video all right so unless they don't want to share their resources with you if not they're going to do that in the description of the video so ensure you check the description of the video always so let's get a font they're going to be using the font i was using, I was using here is kind of long let's use this font Gretaros regular all right so i'm just going to change the change the color all right then come here and close the space up all right then let's do it, do it again all right so at the bottom there you have something there that says the brain arena so let's come here the brain arena all right as you watch this video listen to what i'm going to be saying i want to share some very very important information with you that's going to help you in your business or in the, yeah your graphic design business all right so some people watching me right now you you you're not making money from graphic design because you take it as an hobby all right you are taking it as an hobby what is an hobby an hobby is something you do for just for fun not necessarily because you want to make profit from it but you're just doing it because you like you just like it so some people take graphic design as an hobby they take it as an they used to call it they'll say something like it's my site also now if you take graphic design as an hobby and a site also you are not going to make money from it now listen to me the reason why you're not going to make money from it because you feel that it doesn't really cost you anything to do your design it doesn't really cost you any time it doesn't really take you any effort so you don't you don't feel that you should charge from it for it that is what how some people take their graphic design so because of that um well that understanding that graphic design is not a business to you you cannot make any good money from it those people making money from their skill are the people that understand the business of the skill so if you want to make money from graphic design you need to understand the business of graphic design and when i say the business of graphic design i am referring to how to position yourself in such a way that people see you as a person that is actually solving a problem a real problem for them and they're not seeing you as somebody who is using graphic design as a site also now listen to me if people see you that you're using graphic design as a site also they are going to tell you many many thank you and they will not pay you thank you god bless you cannot pay your bills i repeat thank you god bless you cannot pay your bills so why people keep telling you thank you i know someone who works for a church right it's a church flyer for a church and the person continue to work for that church that ministry and they were not paying him they were not paying him and he was just there working and working and working and working and he had worked for a long time and they were not paying him so i think he got angry and he felt that okay he should demand for his pay because he was working for a pastor or so to say and then the, the, the pastor told him that say listen to me it's god you are working for not me it's god you are, this is the work of god so i'm not going to be paying you for the work of god now why that is good there is not that's not um, that's not completely correct I get me now it's not what's completely correct and the reason why i said that it's not completely correct is because the work of god um needs food to be you need food to do the work of god i get me now you need food to do the work of god so if you are doing your design and you're not charging money you are doing 
thank you that, that they are paying you with thank you god bless you in no time you will go out of business in other words that thing you are doing is not sustainable what you are doing you are going to get tired you're going to get frustrated very soon you will get tired and frustrated and you would you would not want to do it again so if you want something that is sustainable charge a fee what you are doing for free all the people are charging a fee for it and they are making money that is why they are in business seven years after today come you will see them that are still doing graphic design 10 years after today come you will see them that are still doing graphic design the reason why they have been in business all these years is simply because they don't take their graphic design as just a side also something they like doing what is something they want to be paid for if you take your graphic design skill with levity and sentiment when business family member comes you tell them that oh don't worry don't worry i, I will just i will give you oh, no, no, no worry, don't pay don't pay don't pay if you do it like that you will not make money and you will soon be out of business so in order for you not to to go out of business you need to start charging for your service you need to stop playing small and telling people don't worry pay me anything don't don't say that nonsense that is the one of the most terrible words you can say to for, as a business person say pay me anything you want if they pay you anything you want you cannot meet your your landlord or your landlady or the person whose house you are staying and tell them pay me anything you want the reason why many you many of you young people are still not very bold and audacious in the way you demand confidence in the way you charge for your money is basically because you you are still staying in your parents house so you don't yet see the need to charge money for your fee of course they are still giving you food they are still giving you akara they are still giving you everything that you want as a person to stay alive the moment you start living on your own all right the moment you start living on your own you realize that thank you does not pay your bill you realize that what pays your bill is what pays pay your bills is the money that you they, they, they give to you for the service that you offer to them that is what pays the bill so a person can come and meet you and say a person can come and meet you and say and eh, but this is the work of god now don't charge for it now and eh, god will bless you no 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 god will bless you while we're waiting for that blessing we need to eat food all right while we're waiting for the blessing of god we need to chop food we need to stay alive and wait if you don't if you can't eat if you don't eat very well you will not stay alive to see that god will bless you manifest <laughs> so in order for you not to die before your time are you getting me now in order for you not to die before your time please charge for your services there are many people many of you right there listening to me right now who are working for church churches all right you're working for churches and you are grumbling because the pastor is not paying you in fact there are some of you right now listen to me the pastor is using you beyond beyond ministry work so let's say the pastor has his own business so because you, you do church flyers for them for free he still comes and carry his own personal business and give it to you as a person who is lawyer some of us loyalty will kill us i pray that will not be you so because the person this person is lawyer it does still bring other jobs that are not related to the ministry that is personal businesses and you do it and because you are so lawyer my uh, mr loyalty because you are so lawyer you cannot even say sir um, the amount that you're going to be paying for this particular job is ten thousand. You can't say anything. You are quiet. And then after the pastor, you, you do the job for the pastor. You are you are thinking about it. That, ah, but this is a man of God now. See, if you don't if you don't protect yourself, eh, people will put people will not people will not value you. All right. So don't just sit down there and allow people to use you, uh, and uh, and and dump you. All right. So you need to charge for your services. All right. Start charging for your services. I remember I was doing a flat design for one pastor. And I charged him a certain amount of money, which was very small at that time because at that time I was not even I was not even charging very well for my service. I was charging, I was in a 5k. I was just charging very small money, very tiny small money. And then he said something, and I wouldn't forget that. He said, um, what did he even say, Seth? Okay, he said that this is the work of God now. <laughs> I just laughed. I, in my mind, I said, wait to I mean God call. Not be you, God call. Eh? Then there are some that will come to you. So I don't know, some some pastors are very manipulative. If you are here, you are a man of God, you are listening to me right now. I know I don't have the right to um, speak to you. Or I don't have the right to speak with you at all, even self. We're not on the same uh, rank. You are far more above me. Uh -huh. I'm not there your level at all. But, but but we need to be very careful the way we treat people that are under us. You know, you are treating somebody as if they are not human beings. All right? You don't take care of them. These people, they buy data. These people, they spend their time and energy to work for you. And you are not looking at them as if they are human beings. You are not, you are not, you are not caring for them. All right? You just want to use them. You just want to sap all the energy inside them. You want them to be in church. You want them to design all your flyers. And you're not caring whether they're eating. You're not caring whether they're alive. You're not caring any other thing else. All right? That is gold. That's that's very very bad. That is very very bad. All right? So you need to you need to you need to find a way and balance things up. All right? So me, if you if you are there, if you are here, you're working for a ministry and then they're not paying you. Uh, this is my advice to you. My advice is this: if you feel led of God to continue working with them, then please do it as unto the Lord. God will bless you. God definitely will bless you. Don't grumble. God is still in the business of blessing his children. 
Don't, don't grumble while you're working. Work it as if you're not working. You're not working for the pastor. Work it that you're working for God. That's number one thing I want to tell you. Listen to me, yo. Then, <clears throat> if the pastor comes with um, business flyers outside church work, charge for it. Let the pastor know that this one is not church work. This one is business flyer. And then, charge for it. Are you getting me now? Then, if you are the one doing the design, and let them know that you are you are a human being. And being a human being, you 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 will need food. You will need to stay alive. So, if you will design flyer for free, they should give you money for printing. Not that you will design flyer for free, and then you will go and use your money to go and uh, print it. There are some of you like that who are making those sacrifices. That is way beyond how it's supposed to be. You should take care of those under you as a pastor, as a minister of God. So you should give them money, all right? Don't always feel that they must give you money. You too, you're a human being, you should give them money, all right? There are, there are people, there are ministers that tell you that uh, is, you must give, when you give to me, you are blessed more. You you too, you're a human being. Give to your to the people under you, all right? You must give to them too. Those people that are under you, that are, that are working under you, that are sacrificing their life to make sure that the ministry is running. They create flyers and everything. So you need to sacrifice for them too. So give to them, all right? So that is one thing that most people don't understand. Don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. So I'm still going, just the last one here. So so give them money. So that's my one. If you are late to work, work without complaint. Then if grumble has entered your heart because you feel that you should be paid, discuss with the people in charge. Discuss with the pastor. All right? Discuss with the pastor and, and tell them to pay you that you want to be paid for your services. All right? Tell them that you want to be paid for your services. You deserve to be paid. All right? If you are not led to... Uh -huh, if you're not let to be doing it for free, tell them that you want to be paid. You may not charge them so much, but make sure that you want to be paid. And they will decide if they want to pay you or if they will not pay you. And if they will pay you, if they continue, they will not pay you. Um, you, you can decide not to continue with them. Alright, so that is that. Then something else you need to know is to learn to collect your fees. <laughs> learn to charge for your services. Learn to collect your fees. Learn to charge for your services. Some of you, you don't, you don't, you're afraid to charge for your services upfront. Charge for your services upfront, all right? So that you will not waste your time. Every time that you invest into your learning counts, so that you will not waste your time. So charge for your services, all right? Stop doing free designs. Once in a while, you only do free designs for people that you feel that, okay, you can actually get something from them too. That is to say, either you are getting a review for them, they will give you a review about your design, all right? Something like that. All right, so that is it. So not that you just go and be doing free designs up and down. One day you need food, you need money. You need food, you need money. And these things will make you know that. So I'm going to say design right now. This is to make you know that you are a human being. All right. So ensure that you always demand to be paid. All right. Don't take your business with levity, with joke. It's not a joke. Ensure also that when you are dealing with friends and families, as much as possible, avoid them. Some friends and families, they don't. They are very entitled. They don't feel like they should pay you for your service so avoid some of them those people that are very entitled to avoid them then there are some that really want to pay you for your services no problem but ensure that you are not doing free designs for anybody all right there's a there's a place for free design when you're starting out and you want to get some clients once in a while you do it just once don't do it too much too much of free design will make you broke and you will, you will beg my name is niyamuda i hope you have learned something from this tutorial about the words i say and about the plus design i did thank you for watching like subscribe and share like subscribe and share and drop a comment now